and I'm coming to you live from Palm Beach. I am glad to report to you after this very important meeting that we learned a lot of information about women. You need to hear what I'm going to say. It will be not it will not be said anywhere on any kind of social media or live television, but I'm going to say it. Now here's what we have learned today in this incredible incredible meeting. And that is that women women hate losers. 21 women sitting around a table at BBB and they all had the same comment. It was styled a little bit differently, but it was the same comment containing the same content. And that is that they say, and I'm getting ready to ask you, they say that they hate losers. They don't want to be around losers. Now let me ask you a question. Who wants to be around a loser? Now, seven of these people said that they divorced their husband because he never would get up and do anything, make anything out of himself, change his life. In fact, I remember Sarah, she said she was just tired of going to bed with a loser and everybody laughed because they thought it was something else. But her thinking on that was totally different. Now, if the truth be known, type on the screen if you ladies agree that you do not like losers. Now, I'm talking about from a romantic standpoint. I'm talking about from a friend standpoint, a husband-wife standpoint. Do you ladies really like to be connected to a loser man, a loser man friend? a loser boyfriend, a loser husband, do you? I need to see your answer because I want to find out if these 21 young ladies in here aging from 24 to 39 was right on the money when they said that they were sick and fed up. And that's why that seven of them divorced their husbands because he never wanted to do anything, make anything, better himself and change his life and change the family's life. Sarah said that the day he walked in and said, I'm not going to have enough money for the private school this month for our two children. She said that was the day that she decided that she was no longer going to stay with that loser. Now, ladies, do you consider men losers if they're not pursuing their dream and trying to make their life better? I just need to know your answer. It's not a comment from me. It's just an answer I'm trying to seek from you. What is your answer? Do you really want to be married to a loser or do you want to date a loser if you do then you're different than these 21 ladies from Palm Beach because they said they didn't want to have anything to do with a loser now I don't see any participation I see no hearts so it's telling me that if you can't give an answer that you might just be a loser too because normally losers like losers. Winners like winners. I hope that you're not connected to a loser and you've fallen into it and I hope that you haven't made poverty a member of your family. You may have made poverty and losing a part of your family. So if you have, go on down to the courthouse and change your last name. You could just say Sarah Cunnings, dash, last name, loser. Not going to help you any with your life. You need to make sure that you're doing something better than what you're doing now. Now, the good news. I think most of you answered that you didn't want to be connected, but your response is very slow. Maybe you had to think about it, or maybe better, maybe you had to pray about it. Maybe you had to seek something from God on that. Should I stay connected to a loser, a flat out loser? Who wants to be connected to a loser? Stop yes on the screen. I'd like to just know who you are. Anybody want to be connected to a loser? Now, the good news 
I don't know if Dr. Cook informed you of it or not, but the main thing was I was in a very serious meeting here, high performance, high performers meeting in Palm Beach. And I'll tell you what came out of it is going to be absolutely extraordinary. And you will learn that tonight on our special broadcast right around 8 o'clock. So be sure that you set your uh, notifications on so that you can be a part of this broadcast. Subject today was a question survey to follow up on the 21 ladies that was around this table in this boardroom at this very elaborate restaurant here is do you want to be married, connected, or even date a loser? Anybody want to date a loser? I can tell you this. I sure don't want to date a loser. I want to make sure that you are accomplishing what you need to accomplish. One last thought. Nine of these ladies said that they like being single because now they're single and millionaires and they said that they have financial independence and they're not connected to anybody. They're not at the mercy of some man telling them what to do or they're at their own lifestyle and they can do what they want to do. Can anybody agree with me on that? That money produces what? Financial freedom. Type it on the screen. Money produces financial freedom. And with that financial freedom, you should also be philanthropic. You should have a philanthropy mind to you like we do. Get ready for the greatest day that's coming to your life. Watch it carefully. Not going to beg you, not going to drag you. It's your job to follow me. It's your job to find me. When I announce all of the details of Let's Get Motivated, you're going to find out that it's going to be for high performance. It's going to be for achievers and winners that want to go to the next level of life, earn 10 times more money, and take one week off a month for vacation to be with your family. You say, is that all possible? It's more than possible. So if you're ready, you need to type a yes on the screen. If you're ready for this adventure, if you're ready for this new life, somebody's getting ready to get a brand new life. Last night on Facebook, by the way, we did a broadcast of the Rich Carlton because we're negotiating with them. And the people that said things, they said, we're tired of being broke. We're tired of not having any money. People are tired of being broke. And guess what? Most of it are people in the church world that are broke. The world's doing just fine. Sinners are doing just fine with their life. Yeah, they're making money. They, they, need, they, need, they need a relationship, but right now we're talking about money. So that's the problem. Some of you can't even talk about money without mixing God into it. Let's just stay on the process right here of money. You want more money. Anybody want more money in life? Right? To type, 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 type it on the screen real quick. I know one thing we have learned, and that 